We are talking about ways that we can all improve and maintain one of our most precious resources. In fact, it's our only resource. It's the environment. And who better to talk to than Philippe Cousteau, Jr.? Philippe comes from the first family of conservation. The Cousteau name is synonymous with protecting our oceans, protecting our world. I know that you have some very exciting news about your foundation. But first, we got breaking news right here in the City Angels, Los Angeles. L.A. has just voted to phase out the use of plastic bags in all supermarkets. I say hallelujah. Uh, Philippe, I want to know how you feel about it because um, basically what happens in L.A. generally spreads to the rest of the country. Do you think that this plastic bag ban should spread to every city in the United States, and if so, why? Jane, there's no question that plastic bags are hopefully becoming a thing of the past. Certainly in Los Angeles, it's great news. I agree with you. You know, plastic bags are not only blight in terms of waste and trash in our environment, our city streets, they also actually cost municipalities and thus taxpayers a lot of money. They clog up our sewer systems, they pollute our environment, our beaches, uh, they, they affect tourism, they affect our health. A lot of those tax dollars spent cleaning up those plastic bags. I'd rather be spent on, I don't know, things like maybe health care, maybe on children's education. Uh, that would be maybe a better investment for that money. So this is a, a great thing for, uh, for Americans. It's a great thing for Americans. Certainly a wonderful thing for Los Angeles, and I hope the rest of the country follows suit. Take a look at this. It's so simple, okay? This is a reusable bag. This is called the sling bag, and I use it all the time. It's stronger, it's sturdier, it holds more stuff. What, what did people do before plastic bags? It's absolutely so easy to use one of these, and they, they roll up into a ball. You can carry them around. It's unnecessary. Indeed, I believe it's un-American to use plastic bags. You know, our uh, forefathers did not have plastic bags, and they got along just Fine, they thank did just you. Fine. They built this <laughs> great country. <laughs> they right. built this great country without plastic bags. Now, I recently talked to somebody who went out to what is now being called Garbage Island in the Pacific Ocean. Take a look at these videos. It is a huge mass of floating garbage, confetti, more than Texas, bigger than Texas, an island of trash plastic garbage. Uh, this has got to break your heart, Philippe. Uh, I know that you are doing so much to combat this. What do you say to Americans? I was just on the beach and, and all I had to do was turn around and I found so much plastic just lying there. People walk by, they don't pick it up. What would you say to Americans about the importance of connecting what they do every day, what we do every day with this giant island of garbage and plastic in the Pacific Ocean. Well, certainly plastic bags, for a lot of people, they're convenient. I understand that. But the truth is, all of our choices have consequences. And what I believe a lot of people don't realize is that there's an actual economic cost right now. And let's say, we're, you know, we can all agree that our economy isn't rolling in money right now. And, you know, the convenience of plastic bags doesn't warrant the, co warrant the cost to our infrastructure and our health and the health of the environment and fisheries that are declining that feed so many people. So uh, really the message is understanding that, you know, the money we spend on cleaning up those plastic bags, disposing of those plastic bags for the five minutes you're going to have at a convenience to go from a supermarket to your car into home just isn't worth it. We should be putting that money, like I said, in education, in health care, in conservation, in those kinds of things that matter to every American.